Welcome to the lecture series on Introduction to Supply Chain Management. The first video in this series would be a brief intro into what supply chain is and what supply chain management is. So let us dive into the world of supply chain management. So firstly, what is a supply chain? A supply chain is a network of companies and people that are involved in the production and delivery of a product or service. So it includes the entire group of people who are involved right from the procurement of raw materials till the final project reach, uh, reaches the end customer. So the components of a supply chain shall include producers, vendors, warehouses, transportation companies, distribution centers, retailers and many more. So as I said before, a supply chain encompasses anybody and everybody who are involved in the processes right from sourcing the raw material till the finished good reaches the end consumer and at times return of unused goods as well. So the uh, various functions of the supply chain include product development, marketing, operations, distribution, finance and customer service. This is again a repeat of what was said before. Supply chain is an umbrella of innumerable business operations. So anything and everything that is happening inside a business can be brought under the supply chain vertical. So this is one such concept which has a role to play anywhere and everywhere in the business and that is why as MBA graduates it is important that you understand what supply chain is. So we may think this is not a very big matter. No? What is the, what's the big deal about supply chain? But essentially, today there are innumerable supply chains that are operating on a global scale. Say we have Evergreen Logistics, we have Musk, we have DHL, we have FedEx, we have innumerable bigger supply chain brands that are operating at a scale that we could not imagine at all. So, in the forthcoming lectures, you will be able to understand how big the supply chain business scenario is. So, this is an essential process flow of how a supply chain operates. Say, uh, let us consider the manufacturer or distributor is at the center of a supply chain. It is around him that all the supply chain operations are carried out. Say, the manufacturer would plan for producing a product. He may have a business idea, he may have a venture in mind, he may want to produce a product for which he has identified there is a big demand in the market. So, he would start thinking about what are the raw materials that would be needed to manufacture that particular product. Once he plans the raw materials, he would identify who would be the right supplier to supply him the raw materials or parts to produce the finished good that he is having in mind. Say, for example, if the manufacturer happens to be a clothing manufacturer, he will have to look for suppliers who would give him threads, suppliers who would give him machines to work on that. He may have to look for people who will design for him. So, once a manufacturer has decided on what are the parts that are required or what are the raw materials that are required, he will process an inventory and place order to supplier. So, here supplier will have an inventory of what are the stocks that he is having, what are the stocks that he is letting out. Once the manufacturer places the order, the supplier goes through his inventory, identifies if the stock is available. Once he's set and done, he'll transport the part or raw material to the manufacturer. So now the manufacturer would start his process. He'll have an in-process inventory where he'll have record of all the raw materials that are available plus the record of all the finished goods that he's sending to his end customer. So now the manufacturer would start manufacturing the product. He'll manufacture the product and maintain a good amount of stock for it, he'll start marketing post product, he'll start making the customers know that he has such a product in hand. So once the customer has a need for the particular product, he'll have to place an order to the manufacturer and the manufacturer would in turn transport the product to the customer. So this is rightly the forward supply chain mechanism. So here the manufacturer can be somebody who is producing a finished good or somebody who is producing a part of some finished good which will again be taken back by another customer who will use the part to produce the food. So here depending on the situation who is the supplier, who is the manufacturer, a supplier may act as a manufacturer to somebody, the customer may act as a supplier to somebody. So 
the process varies depending on the situations but at the end there will be three people involved the supplier the manufacturer or distributor and the cons consumer it is in between these three people that all the supply chain activities are carried out so what is supply chain management supply chain management is the centralized management of the flow of goods and services to and from a company so it includes all the processes involved in transforming raw materials and components into final products by managing the supply chain companies can cut excess costs and deliver products to the consumer faster and more efficiently a good supply chain management can help prevent expensive product recalls and lawsuits as well as bad publicity say for example uh, imagine you you're ordering a watch price of 25000 and it comes to you in a broken state how do you feel at the instant won't you feel like you will have to break the head of the company won't you feel angry on all the people who have been responsible for delivering such a damaged product right from the person who manufactured to the person who transported to the courier person who gave it to you in hand you will start having that bad opinion on everybody that is involved so when there is going to be a glitch in the supply chain it will have an impact on all the aspects of the supply chain because the end user would definitely not know who is responsible for the flaw so if it be me or you whoever is responsible i mean whoever be the end user we will definitely hold all the supply chain mechanisms accountable for the loss or damage that we are facing so it is highly important that there is an efficient manage of management of supply chain so that everybody has a good will towards all the aspects of the supply chain right from producer to the end user so this diagram would give you a basic idea of all the processes and activities that are involved in supply chain so it is all about management analysis logistics inventory time to market profit production transportation supply chain is a combination of all these in the forthcoming videos we'll have elaborate discussions on all the given below concepts thank you for your patient listening looking forward to having a lot of lecture sessions with you